Hey, I'm James. I'm the head physio for Hacking the System as well as the director of the Foot Collective Australia. I'm also an ex-footballer myself and unfortunately my career was ended uh, out of frustration through recurrent ankle injuries, uh, especially in one year. I had three in one year and I'm very, very passionate about injury prevention for football and football obviously being the most popular sport in the world, it has uh, very high rates of injury. It's a very high demand, high load sport and what I've learned throughout my time in physio is that most injuries are actually non-contact injuries and most of those can be prevented or minimized through the right training of the body. So that includes a combination of strength, mobility and neuromuscular control. So this is actually very well researched in football and in a lot of other sports as well. And that is why when people get injured, they follow up with lots of different rehab and prehab drills to improve their strength, mobility, balance and control. And the issue is that most people don't do these kind of drills and, and um, uh, training before they get injured. They wait until they have an injury and then they go through all that training. But we know that doing that training can actually help minimize the risk. So. The problem is that most of that training can be quite boring or work-based and um, unmotivating. So what we want to do with hacking the system is basically have a play-based program that trains all of those elements. So the three components of our hacking the system program are movement, which we call body hacking, balance beam training, and hacky sack training. So the movement part of it, or body hacking, consists of full body warm-ups, dynamic stretches, ground-based locomotives, as well as some full range of motion strength training. The balance beam training is basically advanced balance training on a very narrow surface that allows for a high level of demand on the ankle and hip stability which is very very important for prevention of ankle injuries and knee injuries especially. The last component is the hacky sack and this basically makes it all fun. So the hacky sack improves your foot dexterity, your foot eye coordination and is also an amazing way to train dynamic hip rotation and accuracy and precision. So these three components can combine to be a very powerful combination for injury prevention, but they can also allow people to be able to play a fun game called Hackminton that we've developed, which involves, it's basically like a mixture between hacky sack, tennis and badminton. Uh, so it's a very high demand or high challenge, but low impact sport and very, very fun. And basically allows you to express all of the abilities that you're learning through the program into a fun and, and uh, friendly competitive sport. So we want to prove that this system works. So we will have a pre and post assessment that uses objective evidence-based measures um, performed by physiotherapists, including myself, that will track the improvement from day one until the end of the program in different things like speed, stability, power, and uh, flexibility. So at the end of the day, we just want to create a culture and a community around injury prevention through play. And to help with that, we'll have a private Facebook group where we can share tips and tricks and challenges for people to try, as well as a place for participants to share progress and ask questions so that they can get advice along the way. And we'll also be organizing some fun community events, including some Hackminton tournaments, uh, to help bring the whole community together. So the training will all be a lot of fun, but really our mission is to minimize injuries as much as possible because less injuries equals more time on the field, equals better football performance, which equals a much better football experience overall for everyone involved. So we look forward to working with you and we'll see you on the field.